Great day everyone, this is Jason Santos, your teacher for practical research. And uh, for today, we will continue um, answering uh, parts of uh, module 5, which is all about data collection, presentation, and analysis. And again, uh, I would like to remind everyone that um, my recommendations for uh, this module is for you to be guided by um, a math major or a statistician to say um, majority of the things that you will be um, observing, encountering here are uh, actually or um, are much better if it will be answered by statisticians or a BS math major. Again, I am a business major. No, but uh, I am fully aware on how to answer such things. However, if we would talk about credibility, it would be better kung yung expert talaga sa field na to or yung graduate talaga ng BS math sa so statistician. Now that we have that out of the way, um, I would still show you um, how to answer activities uh, one to four. No? Um, activity five, I have answered it in another module. And um, uh, you can check that out on the video being recommended right now on the cards, okay, and on my screen. Now, here, um, lahat ng mga questions naman dito class are, have been discussed prior. Ano? So, kunwari, this, um, questions about the percentage, meron ng discussion dito, no? Um, you just need to scroll back. Okay, scroll back, read, and uh, check all of the things that were discussed para masagutan mo siya. Now, um, why I am showing you the answers is, uh, of course, may mga nagtatanong about the answers of, or maybe they would just like to validate. Pero yun. So, let me show you the answers. Ano? Yung percentage, uh, percentage, of course, this is very um, easy. No? Paano mo ba kukunin yan? Ano? So you're just going to divide it, yung total number, uh, number out of the total number. Okay? So, meron din namang previous discussions dito. Eh. So, makikita ninyo dito um, how would you get the percentage. Yan. So, it's here, no? 24, uh, 24 divided by 30 times 100% is 80%. So, Yung the same principle na yun, we just applied it here. No? And I'm sure very basic na yan sa inyo. So, here, meron tayong table showing sections 7A to uh, 7D. And then, meron daw total number of parents na enrolled on those classes. And then, ilan daw from those parents, and of course, yung parents na yun represents each student. No? Opted to receive um, printed copies of learning modules. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? Itong mga students na to ay modular. Okay? And all you have to do is just get the percentage per, per row. Okay? So, 30 and 6, no? So, uh, 30 divided by 6 times 100% is uh, 20%. No? So, apply it all the way down, no? So, 20%. Sa so section 7B, wala. Na, walang kumo na module. Sa so section 7C, merong 50%. And then sa so section 7D, merong 63.33%. Now, total number of parents are 117 and 41 lang. Now, 41 parents opted to get modules. So, the rest may be synchronous and asynchronous. Okay? So, <clears throat> with that, ang um, sabi dito is that uh, let's fill the box, and then write a brief interpretation. Now, yung interpretation, of course, um, it depends upon you. No? Or depends on you kung paano mo siya interpret. But there's a guide on how you would interpret it. Okay? Pwedeng magkaroon tayo ng mga variations sa answer dito. But I'm just giving you a guide kung paano mo ba interpret yung nakikita mo. So what you're seeing, pwede mo siyang inarrate all throughout, no? Pwede mong inarrate lahat ng results 7A, 7B, 7C, 7D. But what I did is that I uh, interpreted it showing only the highlights, no? So among the four sections, sabi ko dito, no? 7D had the highest percentage of modular students, no? Which is yan, nakita nyo naman, no? When we took the percentage, 63.33%. 
while well, section 7C, uh, 7B had the lowest with zero or no students opting for printed modules. So, sila yung wala. No? Sila yung lowest. So, highlights lang kinuma ko. Uh, maganda gawin yung mga highlights na yan kung masyadong madami yung data mo. Like, let's say, imagine nyo na lang ang section ay hanggang uh, lima, sampo, or kung ilan man. No? Ngayon naman, pwede mo namang interpret yan. Ano? Again, it depends on you kasi um, write your own no, brief interpretation. So, maikli. Kaya dalawa lang pinili ko kasi maikling interpretation lang daw. Okay. So, that's our answer for activity 1. What about activity 2? No? Yung pagkuha ng mean and standard deviation, uh, this, has also been, this was also explained here, no? Makikita mo siya dito. So, let me just scroll back here. So, nandito siya sa page uh, 39, no? 28 actually. Page 28. <clears throat> and then, what we can see is that when you are trying to get the mean and standard deviation, ito, meron tayong guide, no? So, what you are going to do is you have to do this manually. No? Hindi uubra dito yung kukuha ka ng um, calculators online ano? and uh, ilalagay mo yung mean and uh, standard deviation. Uh, mean tapos ipaplug mo siya tapos makukuha mo yung mean and SD. Ibang mean and standard deviation yun. Ano? Ito kasi, uh, ang critical na number dito is kung ano yung sinabi sa given na total number, which is hindi mo may input sa mga online calculators. No? So, dito sa given, meron daw total population of 150 students. So, out of 150 mo itatali no? yung mga answers mo. Like for example, 120 ang pumili ng strongly agree, 10 ang agree, 0 undecided, 15 disagree, and Strongly agree ay lima. So what we did here to get the mean, mean pa lang to, ha, wala pang standard deviation, multiply mo siya, no, yung um, total number, you will multiply it doon sa um, label okay, of the Likert scale. So 120 times 5, 10 times 4, 0 times 3, 15 times 2, and 5 times 1. Okay? And then we had our answer, so isasum mo lang siya, divided by the total number, which is 150, makukuha mo na yung mean of 4.5. So initially, our interpretation here is strongly agree. However, it will change kapag pinakuha na sa atin yung standard deviation. Ano? So when we included standard deviation in the mix, Notice na ma-amplify yung um, multiplication na gagawin ninyo. No? Same principle. Ano? So you are uh, going to get all of the products and then you will um, get the mean. No? 3,000 plus 160 plus 0 plus 60 plus 5. Uh, over 150, you have 21.5. So, para makuha mo da yung standard deviation, ano, ang ano dito, formula, standard deviation is summation of mean minus mean squared over the total number. So, dito, yung 21.50 ang nandito sa unahan and then itong 4.5 is yung answer mo kanina, this one. No? So, in if you would use the calculator, Uh, 21 minus uh, oh, sorry, 0. 0.50 sorry. 21.50 minus 4.5 is 17 and then square root no? so, and you have the ano yung, sign of square root so when you square root it, ang sagot mo ay 4.12 okay, so yan 4.12 so, yan ang standard deviation mo. And then dito, makikita ninyo class that there is also an interpretation. Ano? So, kung 1 to 1.8, strongly disagree. 1.81, do not agree. 
2.6 to 3, true to some extent. 3.41 to 4 is agree. 420, agree. 421 to 5 is strongly agree. So we are just going to um, apply this, ano, ayan, no? 0, 0, 1 to 1, strongly to 2, ayan, no? The other way selection uh, as the range themselves and so we get these results, ano? So pwede rin naman yung ganyang paraan, ano? Okay, so using that, no, having said that, gagawin mo lang din siya dito, okay? Gagawin mo lang din siya dito, pareho lang siya, okay? So, sorry dito. Gagawin mo lang siya dito. So, kukunin mo yung mean initially, no? Times 5. 90 times 5, 450. 30 times 4, 120. 10 times 3, 30. 5 times 2, 10. And 15 times 115. So, kinuha mo na yung mean, you have 4.16. Ngayon, Again, kung kukunin mo yung standard deviation, you have to amplify it. Kaya mangyari, 90 times 25, 20 to 50. 30 times 16 is 480. No? 10 times 9 is... So, using all of that, okay, so applying... Uh, ang gagawin mo dito, i-amplify mo lang din siya. No? 25, 8, uh, 9, 4, and then 1. And then, Using that formula, no? uh, sorry kung uh, nag-overlap na yung mga sulat ko dito, you will have 20.36. So, what we did here is uh, use the same formula no? of standard deviation, 20.36 minus 4.16, kasi yung answer mo earlier. And then square root is 4.02. And then, ang verbal interpretation yan, based dun sa uh, nakit, pinakita ko kanina na scale, Likert scale, it's agree. So, yun yung answer natin for this one. Ano? And then ito, iwan ko na sa inyo yan. Kayo na mag-answer na ito. Okay? Madali lang naman yan. Eh. Kailangan mo lang ng patience on um, computing it for yourselves. So, number three, what's my relationship? Okay? So, dito naman, um, you are going to use, uh, we have a data rather, for uh, pre-test and post-test of 10 students, grade 12 students of Purok A City High School. So, ito yung pre-test at post-test. Ang tinatanong ay um, if is there a significant relationship between their pre-test and post-test uh, scores. So, with this, pwede mo siyang gamitan ng online calculator which is itong Pearson R calculator. So, yan. Ito yung ano, um, address. I'll put the, this in my description so you can uh, check it on your own. So, ito yung ating um, X and Y values. Plinag ko lang siya from here. No? Kinopya ko lang yan. Nilagay ko dito. And then from there, no, you will run the test. Ito yung mga lalabas mo na results. No? So again, um, disclaimer, no? hindi naman tayo statistician. No? So, most of the things here, uh, it would be hard for us to explain this ano, at, unless we have the, the directions of a statistician or a math major. But um, thanks to these calculators, no, pwede natin makuha yung answer. And the answer is the value of R is 0 0.39. So, ipa-plug mo lang din siya dito, no, yung answer mo. The value of R is 0 0.39. And then, paano natin nalaman yung interpretation? No? The interpretation is here. Uh, although this is uh, technically a positive correlation, the relationship between your variables is weak. So, yeah, no, weak daw ang ating um, relationship. So, ang answer mo dito sa tanong na is there a significant relationship, there is no significant relationship. No? Kasi ang answer mo is weak. Eh. No? So, the, there, the value is zero. So, the, there is a weaker relationship. Okay. Again, um, since uh, we need some guidance from statisticians here, uh, I'm leaving the rest of the to five for for them to explain. Okay. So, kasi ito mga to more on a mathematical computations na yan eh. So, iwang ko na yan, ano? Ngayon, itong activity four, I have this on another video. So, again, you can check that out no on my playlist.
So you know, I hope uh, I was able to help you answer activities one to three. No? And watch out for my future videos as I answer the rest of um, practical research module five. So thank you so much. Uh, I will see you on the next video. Stay safe, everyone.